In America, we have rights, and our rights are to have our own clothing left alone. We don't allow people to walk into our home and take our clothing, and we don't allow people to walk into our storage units and change them out. We don't allow storage unit managers to take our clothing and start wearing them around town because you like them. We also don't allow the storage manager wives or the main manager who's the woman to go into our storage unit and start looking over the things that belong to us. We don't do that because our storage unit is locked. But what we know about locks today is that they are only locks that keep the good people out. Bad people, immoral people, illegal people don't care that locks are there. They openly want to be anything they can be. So when you have a computer that's not locked out, is it wrong or is it right? Because a hacker will get in regardless of whether it's locked out. When you have a phone that's yours and you have it locked out, what will happen is a hacker will hunt it up and try to figure out how to get into it. So the truth is that he's still the liar and he's still the thief. When you're in love, your heart is locked. Your heart is locked in a way that no one can understand. And it's really not their business to understand because they are not God, most high, who has given you that unconditional love for that person that you love. And that unconditional love transpires, well, states and time. Because it doesn't matter what you think of someone's love. What matters is how much they are loved by God and loved by their love. You see, the first order of the Trinity is God. The second parts of the Trinity are you and your partner. And once you are there underneath God's submission in an equal pair, you know what is right in the world. But if you're unequally yoked, if you're not participating correctly with the Holy Ghost, you're not going to have a positive life the entire time you're married. And that can be truthful regardless of whether or not you have the same religious practices or not. But there's something we do know. People who get involved with people with no faith usually end up destroyed by that person who has no faith in God. And even if he makes a good effort to try to be godly, he in the end will still be a heathen. That is not a pagan and it's certainly not a Wiccan.